Fantastic. Hello there, Master Harris here, and welcome back to my Sim Airport Let's Play. Now, first things first, we've got some warning signs down here because the game was updated, and these drinks machines, um, there's been changes made to them. Um, I'm not bothered, let's dismantle them and get rid of them for now, and then I can deal with it later, and I can look into what's going on. Um, also, um, I've decided that I know what I want to do with it. I took a look, a look at the airport and I've had a think about it. And the basic idea is, if I just get the planning out, is that I want to continue putting gates down in this sort of direction along this way. Um, but then I was thinking that this kind of um, exit route that these two, well, this worker's using here, so you can bypass security, I was thinking I can have go along the back of the gates all the way down and then I can have a second lot of gates here, expand this area um, out so that I have ticketing at the front and then two lots of security to go down the two different gate routes. Anyway, that's what I've been thinking. I've been working out the logistics of it. The only thing is, we need a lot of money to be able to build that. And um, at the moment, we can't do pricing. So that's going to be my target to begin with. So, in order to do pricing, we have to finish our finance research and then do all this stuff. Then that, so, that's nearly done, which is which is very good. Um, so, pricing will then be unlocked, but we require uh, a CFO, and the CFO must have an office. So, what we'll do is we'll take some of the ticket in area, and we'll just shove it in there for now. Why not? Uh, let's see. Um, wall. Yeah, let's do some walls. We don't need big offices, do we? That'll do. Yeah, I tell you what, we'll put another office in just in case uh, we need it for something else while we're at it. So we got the money. Well, it says he says he's got the money, and then uh, yeah, staff door. And then this is the reason why we're doing this is because we haven't got a lot of money. Now it's automatically rezoned the area, which is wrong. It wants to be an office. There we go, and it says the, it's failed because it needs an office desk, an office chair, and an enclosed space. Well, I'm working on the enclosed space. Let's get the other two things. Office. No, nope, we're not going to get it in zones. Let's try here. Office desk. There we go. Office desk there and there. We'll put an office chair. And now, oh, go away. There we go. And there. Brilliant. Okay. Now, I did actually want to have a look at that. This is the um, flight status. We've got uh, one here where everybody's just getting off it. So um, there's a... Let's see, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one here where they're at the gate. And you can see they're flooding through the gate doors, coming through, and then going through our security exit bypass. Now really what I think I want is these security exits directly opposite the gate, kind of here where we've got this food vending and garbage bin. And then uh, that should mean that they're not interfering with each other too much. Now we've got a number of passengers boarding, there's 24 passengers boarding. And if we click the plane and do highlight passengers, we can see where they are. They're either getting on in the queue or this person here. Is it a lady? It looks like it might be a lady. Um taking the time. Come on. Come on, Doris. Yeah, I know. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah, everybody's waiting for you. There's always one that everybody's waiting for. Right, okay, so, let's close that, we don't need that, let's close that, brilliant. So, oh, the offices are nearly done, in fact, one of them is done. That one, don't understand why that's not done. What's that one complaining about? Oh, the chair's under construction, right, okay, never mind, and we can hire our CFO now and put him in the office. There she is, and she seems really happy about it as well, fantastic. So, we've got a little office with CFO, let's see the research, the research and finance is done, let's get pricing done. Right, that leaves us 34 grand for any sort of upgrade. Now, what I want is more gates and more planes. So, this is the airline interest screen, it's been modified since the last time we've looked at it. Tells you what um, you've got active from various different suppliers, and what you can get, 
which for us is nothing and what is locked so if we have a look at some of these ones that are locked like this one for example it says uh, we require a large gate a longer runway an ATC tower and 10 flights a day um, I think we're getting the 10 flights a day and one two three four five six seven eight yeah we, we've got 10 flights a day but we don't have the tower or the long runway uh, here that one's the tower um, a large gate tower large gate so we certainly do need to upgrade now oh, see that one just needs the tower so let's let's start with the tower I think that seems like something that we need some uh, something of so uh, ah, there it is the ATC tower how much is it 30,000 pound we can just afford that let's do it so um, let's whack it Presumably, it doesn't matter too much where it goes. Let's put it in the middle of the runway. Right, so that needs to get built, and then in theory, we should be able to um, accept some more flights in. And then hopefully, we can crank our prices up. And then hopefully, we can spend the money and get some other things. Oh, the train just went past. Oh, the bus is stopping. I'm not seeing any deliveries for the supplies for this. Hello? Oh, hang on. That says passenger. It's not a bus, it's a passenger vehicle. Is that a taxi? Two special passengers on board, maybe. Well, what is my delivery? For my tower? Alright, here it is. Supply truck. Lots of information about this supply truck. So, pick up some drop offs are right outside the front of the minute. I'm not too bothered about where all that is. The garbage, that needs moving. I'm not quite sure why the janitor stood in garbage. Uh, let's just move garbage to the bottom of storage here. Let's get rid of the existing garbage section first, because that's what it's complaining about. There we go. That will do for now. Right, so they should have had the supplies to... Be oh, look, there it is. Um, I, oh... The entire control tower is in one box, apparently. All right, fair enough. Let's um, let's see you build it quickly. Oh, it's been. Oh no, it's not. There's other boxes there already, and everybody's chipping in to build the tower. Nearly there. Started raining and. Do, 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 boom. There we go, we should have a tower. Oh, cool, right. So that should allow us to get some more flights in theory. Let's take a look at uh, airplane, airplane interest. Ah, brilliant, we've got more interest, and of course we've got an airplane coming in. Now if we look at, not our status, but our schedule, we've got some gaps in the schedule. We've got one around 4 or 5 o'clock, so we need, I think, an afternoon one. We've got lots of gaps in the morning and also if we look at some of the aircraft that are coming in on the sched on the status you can see that we picked a, a seven person aircraft because it was better than nothing ideally i'd like to get rid of that and put a bigger aircraft in uh, same here with this 24 um but let's see oh dear uh, let's see what is available to us um there we go I just accidentally went to my desktop, but I'm back now. Right, so there's a morning flight here of an Airbus A320, which is this one here, 150 passengers. I think that's going to push us to our limits. Um, it's a morning flight, let's do it. Let's do it, 150 passengers. So, uh, let's have a look in the schedule. We've got one, there it is, there we've got one. Invalid, it says. Uh, let's put it first thing in the morning. Let's, uh, now, the, these ones, uh, how long were they? We've got some that are like... 60 odd passengers or something and they're getting out way on time if we have a look here you can see that um the, the depart due date at time was 5 30. it actually went out before five o'clock and that was 67 passengers so i don't see why we shouldn't be able to shrink these down a little bit uh, as well so let's put that flight in that gap there cracking okay what's next Another flight, of course. Um, let's have a look, see what interest we've got. Any more in the morning? Well, we've got one in the morning down here. Um, and it's um, 195. This one here, 90 passengers. 
Well, that's better than nothing, and that's the only one we can have for the morning. So we'll accept that. There we go. Oh, weather alert. Uh, runway in is inactive. Oh God, we're going to need to get a second runway in at some point. Right, let's schedule in that flight there in the morning. There we go. Might as well shrink it down for now. Perfect. Now we could do with another one here, starting in the morning. So if we can get another morning flight sometime, that would be good. Uh, but now we, I think we've got a slot. I think this is an afternoon slot. So let's go have a look at the interest. We have one option for the afternoon. Um, I think, yeah, one option for the afternoon. It's a Dash 8, which is this one here, a 50-passenger one. Again, better than nothing, we'll have that. Let's put it into the schedule. Ooh, that's the closest we can get it there. I think, oh no, hang on a minute, we were trying to get it in here. <laughs> there we go, brilliant. And then I think... Yeah, then we're chocked up by the lots of it. We can't go any earlier than 4 o'clock in the morning? No, we can't. So both gates, apart from one morning flight, are now completely full. Fantastic. How is our research coming along? At 16%. That's good as well. Money's at 11,000. I think our money's probably going to go down a little bit. This aeroplane's waiting. It's saying, Runway! I want the runway! Well, you can't have it. It's very bad weather, um, apparently. Uh, let's see how things are getting on over here. Ticketing is getting busy, but we're handling it. Security, no problem. Everywhere else, looking good. Right, well, let's do a little bit of planning while we're waiting for those others. Now, we need more seating areas, so if we look here, we've got um, kind of a, an area where people... But the purple here is denoting where the passengers are going to exit. Uh, the yellow here is where we need a queuing area for each gate. And what I want is a, um, like a, a seating area. So you can see we've got some seats here. We would like a gap as well. So if we make that a kind of seat row there, and we put a seat back to back on that, and put a second row of two benches back to back there too. We can put bins of vending machines on the end, whatever, that's fine. Um, and then the exit route. Um, the exit route will continue down here. And what I want it to do is go into a, like an area with a wall. So we're going to move this wall. I think it's really the idea. And then they can exit through some security gates and come down to baggage claim. So we're going to move all that. Similar sort of situation here. So let's do that. And that's going to keep going forward there. Now, because I want to exit... Are you still waiting for the runway? Oh, you're off now. Brilliant, okay. Uh, our rating is 37%. At the We've got some evening flights, but I think we're booked up for the evening. We are. Have we got any rubbish ones in the evening? This, this one here. The Pacific, the Pacific Breach at arrival of 3.15 is a rubbish one. Uh, it does not count as evening. No, that's afternoon. In which case, we, we can't replace that yet, can we? No, we don't have any of that. Okay, never mind. Um, so yeah, we've got some seating in the gate, so let's just clear the seating plan and just put... Um, let's just put some yellow in for the entire gate area. So this is... see this gate comes up to a certain zone so we can use that entire area as room just for that particular one gate so we can put like vending machine coffee shops actually I think if we move the queue slightly we would probably put seating in next to it so we won't we won't need all this seating here but we're gonna make it nice and big and spacious so we can put more stuff in later um, so really um, half of that aging gate is in the wrong area. Let's, let's get some yellow. So, this here, that's all going to be gate seating, gate queuing, gatey goodness. Let's put that wall back in. Um, and if we just come out of planning a second, we can see that it goes up to the edge of that wall. So, back to planning and the edge of that wall. There we 
go. So what I want to do is to be able to then expand this out this way over and over and over in order to get more gates in. Now, these gates, if I measure this, they are 20 wide. So we can have another 20 wide one here. Uh, maybe we put a bit of taxi weight in. There we are, there's 20. Tell you what we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll tessellate it. Is that tile it, tessellate? Are they both the right word? Uh, let's clear that one. Oh, you can put them all there. There we go. So that's one gate. So I'm going to get rid of the original gate so that we've got room to expand. We're going to have this gate upgraded. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's six gates. I reckon we can fit seven actual gates in here before then slipping in a runway probably. Then the ta that taxiway is going to have to come down here and then across here and then there like that. And then that gives us room to expand the runway and we can then put another connection there. I'm not sure whether this bit of taxiway is necessary, but I think we'll put one there just so it makes a nice, lovely mirror image. Uh, it's not perfect mirror image and we probably won't need some of this taxiway in the future, but we'll we'll see how it goes. In fact, let's just get rid of that bit there. We, we might not need that. We'll work it out. So that's the gates and the taxiway sorted out. And then we're going to have this exit corridor all the way down here there we go and it's going to go right to the very end if i hold the control or oh, there we are control i can then make sure that i get that in at the same amount so i can put it up to oh no i still made it i still did it wrong there we go so that's going to be the exit corridor and of course then that is going to connect up to all the gates in the same fashion here um i'm going to get rid of that gate there we are, we'll put, we'll put a wall in there, and that wall can match this wall here, why not? So that's going to, we're going to end up with a very big area here. Um, this is, um, up to that point there, 29, so that's going to be 30. So if I go 30 down from here on this side too, to make it symmetrical, I think, I think I really would like this whole thing to be symmetrical. Um, we can expand that starting area so um, the actual ticketing baggage claim security all that stuff is going to be in there wow that is a big area let's just clear out the areas where we've already got buildings so we can see a little bit better about what's going on there we go So all of that, all of that is going to be one massive entrance and ticketing and stuff. We'll put some restrooms in there and probably put some restrooms in somewhere down here as well. And then, <laughs> and then this wall here is 15. Yep, 15. So if we do 15 this way, we'll have the other set of gates coming out this way like this. Um... May as well have that on the end, so let's line that up. Perfect. So there's going to be our 14 gates. And of course, then it gives us opportunity to have runways and stuff down here too. Uh, we've got a new aircraft just landing. We've got one leaving here. At the minute, I don't feel like our runway is fully used. I mean, at the minute we've got one taxi in off and we've got an opportunity for one to taxi onto it here, but I really do think that we can make more use of that out of that runway. Now, let's have a look at the research here. We're still at 31%, so we're going to have to actually do the pricing next time. But we do have a few grand to spend on any sort of improvements that we might want to make. But I think overall we're handling it. We've just got this Aerostar. Oh, that's a point. Where's the big new one? Is that not going to arrive until tomorrow? It's not, because the schedule that you put up here, this is always the next day's schedule. You don't change today's schedule. So I'd like to be able to see that large aircraft come in, first of all. So let's speed up the game. And we're going to have to go into day three, I think. So we can, we can actually watch the the flights and the manoeuvres of today and make sure everything looks good on that. There we go. So we've got a couple of aircraft that are en route. 
Let's put that up there at the top, I guess. There we go. One taxi. We'll put that there. We can, quite, we can see most of the airport and what's going on. Brilliant. Yeah, so we've got... The, that's the one with the seven passengers there. The one that I want to get rid of and replace. And I don't think I can replace it yet. Uh, we haven't got any more interest at that time of day. But I suppose it's better than nothing. Um... Lots of passengers are coming in. We've got um, a flight of 66 people and a flight of 59 people, both en route. Um, and I can see lots of people going through ticketing. Again, there's a queue at ticketing, but it's not too bad. And also, um, security is easily handling it right now. There's one of the um, aircraft there, and we've actually got three en route now. Wow. Really pushing the boat out there. Lots of people coming out of that aircraft. Cool. It's all looking very good. We're going to need thousands and thousands and thousands, though, in order to be able to do what we need to. Look, nope, there's one of the uh, new aircraft on the way there. It's, uh, well, not new this episode, but it's, it's uh, certainly new now. It's, it's all going very well. I'm surprised that the airport is doing so good at that. The only thing we're not really doing good at is the money. We're down to a to do all of these different things, like the flight attendants and aircraft and all the different bits and bobs, it's all cost us a very large amount of money. Um, but that's fine. I mean, we, we're just about floating on the money side of things. So I think once we increase the prices, everything will be fine about that. The research is 72% now, and we've got lots of aircraft still coming in and out. I think we can get probably four or five gates worth of aeroplanes on that runway which means that we have, if we have a runway at the bottom and a runway at the top I think that means we can have ten aircraft and then if we put a runway to the right hand side that will be about fifteen-ish aircraft um, and I think that was the last aircraft as today yeah because we're about to move into day two um, we're about to come round from uh, eleven and there we go right the schedule is just updated at all that. We've actually got a flight here with what well, apparently is just one person. Um, I think I must have scheduled a flight not realised it was a VIP trip. Um, but I took it. It was better than nothing. Um, so yeah, if we look now at the actual schedule, this is what's going to be happening. Where's the big aircraft? The hundred and some... Oh, so the, the aircraft that's really big, I think it's this one, it's only actually got 92 people coming through. And that's at 12 midday, so I think we might have to look at that next episode. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm quite happy with the way that this is shaping up, especially with my ideas for the new planning. Um, I don't seem to be able to place this where I want to, um, which I think it's because of the taxiway there. But Ah, that could be a challenge because it's saying to me that I should really have that like that. I, uh, let's have a look at is it utilities? No, let's have a look at the objects and go taxiway. Or is it build? Ta yeah, there we go. Oh, we've got two in stock. So, yeah, you can only build it within this grid that we've got going on here. Um, which for some reason you can only see when when you move um, and if I can only build it within this grid that means that I can only have it how um, over here in this manner uh, yeah that's gonna cause some problems so we need to redesign the middle of this in, in order to fit the number of taxiways that we're gonna have to do to go around the edge of this building yeah. Oh dear. That, oh, that's terrible. Um, I wasn't planning on that. Good job I was looking into it. So, um, if I go... Oh, we can't afford it. It's a good job we can't afford it, because I'd have actually done, done that instead of planning. So, let's put the gates, or the planning for the gates in this side. There we go. So, if they're the planning for the gates, this is going to be the taxiway, which is probably going to come out this way to... A pre-runway and then maybe one and a runway right on the edge 
something like that. Um, there's no reason why that can't be linked up like that. Um, and then down here there could be a runway as well. That's got that's got a gap of two. So, um, yeah. Oh no, 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 not there. Oh, I've done it again. Gap of two, and then something like that onto a runway. Yeah, so, something along those lines. We'll we'll figure out the exact. Uh, things with the runways later on when we work out how big we're actually going to have the runways but this means the middle section here is no good now so we're going to have to have this middle section be a total of 40 blocks uh, now what do I do do I just make the middle section that I've got there wider or do I give a bit to the gates? I think what I'll do is I'll give a bit to the gates and then we can have a look at different ways we can put the we can put restrooms in and all sorts. Yeah, that's gonna be really good. So let's see. What if that's 40, this magenta here, it wants to be in the middle section. So um half of 40 is 20. So they're the middle two blocks. So what we'll do is we'll move this magenta line. Come on, magenta. There we are. We'll move it to there. That's going to be the main exit instead. The exit route. Now, I'm wondering whether two blocks is going to be enough for that, but I think it will be. There we are. That gives us an idea of what it's going to be like um, in terms of the layout slightly. There we go. That will go all the way to the gate. There we go. And what we can do, I suppose, is we can have the main bit of the gate there, and then we could maybe leave rooms for snacks and toilets and stuff here, and do something similar again. I mean, I don't know how wide that was. 14. 14, there you go. So we're going to be something along these lines like this. For the gate queuing and waiting areas, and then the exit route in the magenta there. So, um, it was a good job we did that bit of planning, otherwise there could have been a lot of problems. Uh, but we do have a new problem, and that is that we've run out of money. We're at minus 969 um, coins in the bank, and the research is still a couple of hours away, but hopefully we can fix that next time. So join me next time where I um, continue to expand this airport. We're going to move some gates around, get some more stuff in, if we have any more money. Hopefully by the adjusting the price, and we will, but we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, take care, and until I see you then, goodbye for now.